I started the violin when I was four and a half, but didn't get to play in an orchestra until I was 12 years old. Before my orchestra experience began, I sang in a children's choir as part of my weekly extracurricular activities. This experience shaped my strong belief in music as a way to bond and connect. It also gave me an early insight about the art of chamber music making and orchestral playing before I was even advanced enough to participate as a violinist in an orchestra. While I was in college, I had the opportunity to take part in many community outreach projects with my chamber groups. We worked closely with our professors on script writing, programming and presentation skills. We visited elderly homes, public libraries, schools, hospitals and museums. Ever since, I have continued to seek opportunities to give back to the community with music wherever I go. Little did I know back then that these skills and experience I have acquired through this little interest was exactly what helped me set up and embark on my quartet career in Hong Kong. One of the very first projects my quartet took on was with the Hong Kong Playground Association, giving regular outreach performances and group classes to children in need. Community outreach is still a big part of my quartet's work up to this date. This season, we are scheduled to give 20 school performances throughout Hong Kong in addition to other regular performances. I was the Associate Concertmaster of the Hong Kong Symphony Theatre from 2011 to 2017 before I made the decision to dedicate more time to chamber music and teaching. Switching from being a full-time orchestra player to a freelance performer with a part-time teaching job at a university, I enjoy having the freedom to explore all kinds of possibilities. I still freelance and do guest leading in orchestras around town, so it doesn't feel like I'm missing out. Financially, it might not be as secure, but there are countless things money cannot buy. Having done both lifestyles, I must say that I like both, but for now, my current way of life suits me the best.